Hello. Glad to be with you once again. As you know, this past Sunday, we finished the word creed by adding the final E and D. E, as you remember, stands for express your praise through worshiping God. And D is depend on the Holy Spirit. And so what I'd like to do here is just go a little bit deeper into that first letter E. When you talk about expressing your um, praise by worshiping God. I mean, just the very word express indicates that something outside yourself is happening. I mean, you can't very well express like this, I guess you could say, I'm uninvolved, I'm not uh, connected, or I'm uh, defensive. But most often when we talk about expressing ourselves, we're talking about the tone of our voice, the expressions we make, our engagement in conversation. And so that's the same thing that happens when we come to church. We express ourselves, we express our praise to God, which is rightly due. I mean, St. Paul says with the name of Jesus, every knee will bend, and we are worshiping God. And we have a beautiful um, ritual in which we do that. And if you, uh, as you remember, I, I, we looked up the word um, worship and defined it both as a noun and as a verb. One is the joyful uh, proclamation of our faith, and the other one is uh, the devotion and adoration. And in the Mass, we can do both those things. I mean, we come together and uh, we begin by greeting each other and celebrating, and we sing songs and we clap our hands and we joyfully respond because we're excited and we have so much to give thanks to God for all that he's given us. And then the Mass moves after the homily, it moves to the Eucharistic prayer, and that becomes um, worship as a verb, because that's the time that we uh, pause and try very hard by praying with the priest, the Eucharistic prayer, to enter more fully into the mystery of our salvation. And that's a very solemn and serious moment. There's it's not a time for us to clap hands or shout back or to laugh. It's a time for us to really, on our knees, stand before our God. And so what I want you to think about today is how well do we do that? I mean, um, both the joyful expression of what we believe and the solemn adoration of what we believe. Both the outward um, visualization or the outward, again, expression of what's in our hearts through song and response uh, and participation, and also the inward reflection of dwelling upon the mystery that's so profound in the Eucharist. So why don't you guys talk about that for a while tonight? God bless you.